Hey everybody, it's Riku Go, and in this video I'm going to talk about how much does it cost to live here in Cyprus. For that I created a list with all of my monthly expenses. I'm going to show you that, but I'm also going to show you the lifestyle. So let's start with the most amazing thing you can do here in Cyprus and that is of course going to the beach. The awesome thing about having a garden is you have a garden, but the disadvantage is you have spiders and insects everywhere. One Fred espresso, please. I just met spontaneously my friend and partner Yannis and you just said that Paphos is so a good place because you're here at the beach and in 15 minutes you're in the office and then you can go on the mountains in 30 minutes on the weekends. How do you like life in Paphos? Yeah, this is a beautiful country and we are very lucky people living in this uh, nice place. Uh, I talked to a friend the other day, say I'm driving six hours to go to the beach and I'm coming here in only 10 minutes and after I finish 10 minutes I'm at office. It's amazing. That's amazing. I think he's from Germany maybe. In Germany <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> you have to drive hours and here just five minutes, ten minutes you're at the beach and you can enjoy a perfect morning. Let's go into the water, Janis. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right, 7 a.m. in the morning, super sunny, a lot of people already outside and I will go into the water with the subboard now. I will drink the Freddo Espresso and then I'm going to talk about the interesting stuff. Bambos, what's up? Hello, Rick, how are you? Good. I have my sub as well. Can I bring it? Really? Yeah. yeah. No, the car. In the windmill. Ah, okay. We can do it like together. I make a drone for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks for you, eh? Yeah, Just take car. some. <laughs> Rico! What's up, bro? How are you? Good, and you? Very good. All right, Misha, so yes. how do you see the real estate market in Cyprus because you're into it? Is it going more expensive? Or? Well, for the next five years, experts say that the price will keep going up due to the influx of tourists, the influx of new properties, the increase in prices everywhere, to inflation, uh, building costs, and all that type of stuff. So for the next five years, they say price will go up, but at the end of the day, nobody can really predict. I'm the last car now here at the harbor with my car over there so I have to check if I got a ticket or no but I think it looks good so I have to drive away the car now it's only until 10 okay luckily no ticket I got enough tickets already
All right, 11 a.m. second Fredo espresso for today. Now I can sit down and relax after this amazing morning swim. You saw it. I met so many people. And now I will answer some emails of you guys here in this cafe. Enjoy this coffee. Then I will drive home and actually show you what I spent in a month here in Cyprus to have this amazing lifestyle because I really enjoy sharing it with you. And if you enjoy those kinds of videos, definitely make sure to subscribe because the videos are going to be even better in the future. We are back home, now it's time to eat something, get some work done and then in the evening going to an awesome event. Okay, so let's get to the breakdown of how much I spend every month here in Cyprus to live a relatively good lifestyle. For that I will go into my banking app, go to analytics. And the first thing I see is the total expenses of last month. Before I will say it, you have to know that this is my lifestyle. This is my expenses and my kind of living. This is not going to be the same for you because you have different standards, you like different things and you're doing different activities as I am. The total costs of last month are 3,045 euros. Last month, May. Most of it went to rent. I pay 1,000 euros in rent. After that, we have <laughs> restaurants and I paid 710 euros and 10 cents for restaurants. I go out a lot. After that, we have groceries, 440 euros, basically Lidl's. This is where I'm going to mainly here in Cyprus, to the supermarket. Then we do have transport, which is basically 120 euros of gas. It's a bit more, but um, gas is only 120 euros that I spent. Travel, I do not add travel right here because it's a flight that I booked, so let's leave that out. After that, we have utilities, 116 euros, mainly for electricity, and this is for two months. Here we do not have water, so it's kind of the monthly expenses if you break it down because we are paying on a two month basis the electricity and three month basis the water. But still, I pay around 100 euros for water, e electricity and internet every month. 20 euros for my fiber optics internet, which is my internet provider here, which gives me very fast internet because I basically need it. After that, we do have some other things and I just counted everything together. It's like health, where I was at the pharmacy one time, some services, entertainment. What is entertainment? Uh, it's an arcade game in the mall that I played. So just like super minor stuff and all of that is 160 euros that I combined together. So we come to a total of 3,045 euros that I spent last month. This month we have the... 16th i already paid rent and everything and this month i already paid half of half of the month 2018 euros so probably this month is going to be the same this is my fixed costs what i spent every month to live here in cyprus i'm very happy with my apartment it's a ground floor apartment with two gardens with a pool with a gym by the way we're going to the gym now and then i also have a car Insurance that I'm going to pay on the car is 180 euros every year. Same, about the same for the road tax and that's all for the car. I didn't pay it last month, I paid on a yearly basis. And I of course also have some other business expenses but I don't want to add it into this calculation because it's a business expense. Everything that I just told you including the car costs are my private expenses, my cost of living here in Cyprus and you can definitely leave a comment down below if you live in Cyprus how much you spend every month I'm very curious about that because some people obviously spend more and some people spend less I remember in my old apartment where I paid half of the rent that I'm paying right now also my fixed costs were half of that but right now we have summer I'm going out basically every day 
and I'm meeting people, I'm inviting people to dinner, and this is why my fixed costs are definitely higher than about a year ago. One thing I also wanted to mention is the fact that so many things are completely for free here in Cyprus. And what do I mean by that? By that I mean nature, beaches, mountains, forests, waterfalls, so many amazing places that you can only get here in Cyprus. And when you are there, you're just stunned by how beautiful the scenery, the landscape is. Ayanapa, we have the Love Bridge, we have White River Beach, we have shipwrecks, we have so many things that you can just visit for free, have a picnic there, watch the sunset, the sunrise, whatever you prefer. Or you can also just buy yourself a subboard, just as I did, and then you can go on the water completely for free as well. Obviously you have to buy a subboard, yeah, but it's not too expensive. And then you can use it forever for free and it's really so much fun. All right, now it's time for a workout. Perfect, I got my weight vest and some dumbbells, this thing over here and I'm ready. Workout done, now it's time for a swim in the pool. I'm very sweaty and I need to get ready actually for the meeting tonight. Two very common questions that I get about living costs here in Cyprus are one, is it still affordable to live here in Cyprus? And well, this really depends on your individual needs and lifestyle. If you want to move to Cyprus and you want to live in a skyscraper, in a villa, you want to have a big fancy car, you want to go out in restaurants every day, obviously you will need to spend a lot of money on everything. But if you come to Cyprus and you're fine with a studio apartment, with a two bedroom apartment, or you even want to share your rent with someone because you're coming with your partner, you're coming with friends, then you can drastically reduce your fixed costs. I would even argue that it is still possible to live with 1000 euros per month here in Cyprus if you live very basic, if you don't go to restaurants every day, if you're sharing the rent with someone. Because as I told you earlier, the rent is probably, yeah, it is my biggest expense every month because I'm spending 1000 euros. But I could also live with a friend together here and then I'm just paying 500 and this place is big enough for two people. However, I feel very good having my own apartment. I love my own office room. I love to come here and to just calm down after meetings, to have a garden, a pool, a gym. If you were watching my videos for a long time, you know that I lived for 470 euros just two years ago. So everything is possible and definitely keep working on your goals. You will achieve it. I believe in you. If you have any questions about whatever you're doing, leave a comment down below and I'm happy to help you. Question number two that I regularly get and I find this question very interesting because I actually had the same question when I left Germany. And that is, how much money do you need to move to Cyprus? And I now would say that you need at least 10,000 euros in the bank. And why? Because you need to have some expenses in the beginning. For example, you need to buy a car most likely or you will need to rent a car because you need transportation. Ideally, you don't want to use the public transport. Two, if you find an apartment, you will need to pay a deposit. And that is usually two to three months rent. So for this apartment, I paid 3,000 euros as a deposit and 1,000 euros for the first rent. So at the, in the first day, I paid 4,000 euros just to move in into this place. Then if you want to get the utility on your name, you will also have to pay 100, 200, so many other things that you will need money for. Also, you never know if the apartment or the house is equipped or furnished. Here, luckily, everything was inside, but 
a lot of places are also not fully furnished so only partly furnished where there is the kitchen maybe a bed and some sofas but you also need appliances kitchen appliances like forks knives plates mugs coffee machine all kinds of things that also cost a few hundred euros and then i always say that you need no matter where you're living 5000 euros in the bank for emergencies what if you have an accident what if someone needs money what if what if like it's an what if case yes but this these cases could happen what if you need to pay taxes at some point what, uh, like an old tax that you didn't pay before because you weren't aware of it so always at least have 5000 euros and if you want to move to cyprus rather have 10,000 in your bank account and then you're on the safe side. As you see, I already have a new outfit. I'm definitely excited to go to the meetup now. I'm also excited to show you guys what kind of people you will see and meet here at entrepreneurial events because you definitely want to have connections here in Cyprus and meet new people. And we will also ask them very interesting questions. So definitely make sure to watch the video until the very end. Special guest. Hello. Hello, cutie. We arrived here at the entrepreneurs' party event. I hope you can hear me because we have a very good DJ in the background. You can see him right there. He's German. I came here and he talked German to me immediately. Now we are meeting people. A few people. I know already a few people I'm meeting right now, just as Elle for example, she's coming from Netherlands. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, let's go around and talk to some people. I have no idea if you hear me or not, but this is Francis. Probably, probably not, but we're doing our best. Francis moved to Cyprus a few months ago, I guess. About a year ago. A year ago already. It's been a year. Time is flying. It is flying, absolutely. And he messaged me. I tried my best to help him find a property. He helped me out very well, and I got my business here moving. Everything's an A plus. So, I love Cyprus, it. number one. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. It's been one year already. It's insane. And let's talk. Some other people. We are back home guys, it's 1am in the night, my voice is absolutely gone so I will recover in bed now to be able to make an even better video so definitely make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.